All right, greetings, welcome, and thank y'all for stopping by here on YouTube at Bloom for What the Love. I go by Bloom. This is a collective reading, as I promised you all that I was going to do today, um, but I decided to do it pre recorded to keep the energy clear and clean and so that I could focus. This is going to be for the collective of you, all zodiac signs, past, present, and or future, masculine and or feminine energy, where you know that you are being cyber stalked and trolled. You know that people are sending you evil eye, doing dark magic, we're cursing you. You know that people are also shadow banning you, profiling you and recording your videos. Some of you know that these people are religious figures, okay? Not all of them but some of them are religious figures that are doing this. And um, they're hiding, some of them work for social media platforms and they're exploiting those positions. So watch out social media owners, you may have some problems coming to you near, okay? Um, because you can't be biased in this kind of arena. And if y'all got people that's working for you and if you're, you yourself has a bias and you're profiling certain types of content creators this may not go well for you, okay? But anyway, I digress. Let's get into the reading and see what's going on with them. So basically, it's a reason they're profiling you guys. It's a reason they're stalking you. It's a reason, obviously, some shit is not quite as they wish, okay? People have time to stalk and troll and report and to sit up on your shit. They're sad, look. There it is, they're dealing with sadness, okay? And because somebody is not selling out, I have selling out in the reverse. So someone is sad. These people are sad because perhaps if this is you, you're not a sellout or somebody that you're thinking of, okay, they're sad about this. Somebody could have possibly squealed and told the truth about these motherfuckers. Yeah, Phoenix Rising, they're going through some type of destruction they're having towers in their lives, okay? And like I said, some of these people secretly practice dark arts, okay? They secretly do this while going about acting religious, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Pay attention to the signs, okay? The will of fortune. All right, something is happening. Karmic will. They're trying to still create towers for your life because they're sad, okay? They're trying to create towers in you all's life. They're trying to make your, you all sad because they are. So they're spending their time. Yeah. Patience is coming out. They're having a challenge. Maybe they're going through some kind of illness. Maybe they're put, being put in a timeout, if you will. Okay. This could be family. For some of you, it's family. That's secretly doing this. Yeah, pride is coming out in the reverse. Yeah, somebody's mask has gotten stripped. Okay, they were going about acting like this, but this is the truth. Some of them are, you know, upset, and so they call themselves trying to knock you off of your pedestal or whatever they think you're on, right? It's not happening. They could be embarrassed because maybe they're sick, okay? The mask has fell off, people are seeing them. Yeah, they have holes in the soul, okay? We're asking about what's going on in the lives of these people. So we're picking up their energy collective right now. These people that are stalking and trolling you, self-love. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. They're humiliated. Okay, they are, they are fearful. See, this is why people attack you all, by the way. When people are stalking, trolling, and attacking, profiling, sitting up on people's shits, reporting, they're actually fearful. They lack courage. Okay, they lack courage and they lack self-love. Okay, they lack proper self-esteem. Something with this pride in the middle, in the reverse. Something has happened to strip off some of their masks. They can be upset that you all are healing, loving on yourself collective, 
And you can be a humble person in spite of what people think. Just because you're standing up for yourself and you're speaking truth and you're not taking no shit, it doesn't mean that you're haughty. It means that you have a level of self-respect, okay? We had sellout come out in the reverse at the bottom, so you all may be legit. I didn't say perfect. I just said legit, okay? But they lack courage, okay? Maybe you all paid attention to the, to the signs. Maybe they didn't or they didn't want somebody to, that they really had a hole in their soul. And now they're trying to take this out or they're continuing to attempt to take this out on you all because perhaps your platforms are exposing or a part of the exposure of the truth, okay? And so they're just sitting on your shit. I just looked up and saw 555 change and transformation. It's time for positive changes and transformation. And now they're trying to send chaos to you because they're experiencing chaos, right? All right, let's keep it going. I decided to pre-record this collective because I wanted clean energy. I wanted to throw the karmics off their, their little, what they think they're doing. So set your intentions here. Yeah, there could be some kind of a divorce or separation taking place, or they didn't want a divorce or separation. They're trying to resist the divorce or separation. And they could be blaming some of you collective, especially if you are a reader. I'm just gonna keep it 100, especially if you're a fucking reader, okay? Yeah, this is the third party, love affair, dirty little secret down low, okay? This was possibly for some of you a third party that maybe unbeknownst to you, or maybe you do know, who knows? That could have exposed some type of a love affair situation. Now, if this is not directly tied to your situation, maybe you just served in some way with exposing something, and so they're really taking it out on you. They're sitting on your shit every day because you exposed some shit, okay? What's going on, patience? With these people that's stopping and trolling, yeah. Yeah, they don't have any protection, okay? Protection is being removed from them, okay? They could be tired of waiting and trying to figure out how to remove you all's defenses, okay? Yeah, receipt, yeah, and that's because some of you, there's been some kind of proof Okay, they could be currently trying to threaten people or got humiliated or humiliated. Some kind of humiliating situation here with pride, reverse, and receipt. Compromise and settlement is coming out in the reverse. Somebody could have rejected them. They could be going through the rejection, self-love, online looking for info. So this is proving the reading. They're online stalking you. They're looking for information. They could be looking for, um, yeah. They could be trying to figure out what's going on with some of you as well, but they're, they're definitely online and they're seeing that some of you all are loving yourself. Some of you, you're strong. You could be healing and recovering, okay? You could have received proof. But like I said, there's some type of an exposure that's happening to some of these people that's stalking and trolling y'all. And this is why they're doing it. Okay. This is why they're continuing to do it because they've been doing it. So some of these people are mad because they're being knocked off their high horse. Their masks are being stripped off. People are, you know, finding out proofs about them. Some of them are sick. It could be situations where people aren't protecting them anymore because they found the proof. They found the proof about something here. And they, somebody could have found the proof about something online about some of these people, okay? The people that's recording your videos, even if this is people who work for these social media platforms, okay? First column with patience. The people that's reporting, stalking, and trolling, the collective. The people that's reporting, stalking, and trolling. 
Second column, please. The people that's reporting, stalking, and trolling. The people that's reporting, stalking, and trolling. Ooh wee. The people that's reporting, stalking, okay. Second, I'm sorry, third column, the people that's reporting, stalking, and trolling. The people that's reporting, stalking, and trolling. The High Vibe Collectives. Well, technically we both had an accident at the bottom of the day. Okay, so this is somebody that's trying to uh, pass the buck on something. Okay. Puke and rally, and then we had a talk about boundaries. And then we had a talk about boundaries. Somebody is sick and it could be uh, pertaining to boundaries. Somebody could have crossed somebody's boundary. Somebody could have called somebody not to get sick. I'm sorry, somebody could have called someone to get sick here. Wow. Ha, huh, what a loser. How your vagina feel after giving birth. Oh my God. Okay, so for this one with this receipt, I don't know, collective, take this as it resonates. Uh, these people are losers. Okay, it came out. So somebody is humiliated and they could be blaming you. It could be someone that had a baby and I, you know, uh, this is just what comments, this is what's coming out. So I'm just saying what's coming out. All right, and so either they had a baby or somebody is not pleased or happy with the sexual relations they're having with whoever these people are. They could have found out some proof about these people here. Okay, tell me I'm beautiful, this is fine, okay? This is somebody that's got self-esteem issues Okay, this could have been, and they, and they really thought that what they were doing and their behavior was okay. This could be somebody who overly focused on the external to try to, you know, look a certain way or whatever. Wow. This is fine, wanted to come out in the reverse. They're not okay. They're, I'm sorry, they're, they're not okay. All right, so let's get some tarot and then I'm gonna get some of my cards out and we're basically done because we're getting what's going on with them, okay? Because why are they stalking y'all? Why are they trolling you? Why are they sitting on your videos constantly to, to wait for a moment to push the button, to shadow ban, to report, okay? Why are they, you know, sending negative energy to you? Why are they in your dream space? Why are they fucking with you? And that's because their life is falling apart. Happy people wouldn't be doing that. People that's content and happy and getting their wishes fulfilled wouldn't have time, money, energy, and resources to be doing that or wouldn't even care to, to be truthful. Wouldn't even care to because they would be too busy in contentment in their lives. So who gives a fuck about trying to do a ritual on someone else? Who gives a fuck about someone else's fucking platform? Who gives a fuck about when you are too busy in contentment of your own life, right? So these people have gotten exposed. You guys could have said something about somebody being shallow. You guys could talk about that sort of thing even if you're not a reader. And this is hitting a, a sore spot for them because this is what some of them do, okay, to trap people and, you know, they put all of their confidence in their appearance. And I have Gemini at the bottom of the deck in reverse, and I have Six of Cups in the upright. So for some of you, this is a past lover, a past sibling, someone from your past, or this is pertaining to a breakup that they could be going through with someone from their past, okay? Okay, someone they grew up with. So they're going through breakups and losses. They're wishing for better days, but better days ain't happening. 
And in part, it's because they won't stop fucking with people like my High Vibe Collective. They won't stop doing that shit. They won't stop stalking. They won't stop trolling. They won't stop attempting to um, put an end to whatever you all do in social media, okay? What's happening, team? First column to these people that's constantly stalking and trolling and reporting the collective's shit. What's happening here? The hermit people could be ghosting Virgo. People could be ghosting them. People could, you know, they could be being forced into isolation here. Okay. Three people could have recently ghosted them. Let's have the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Or, yeah. And it could be their work that people stopped supporting or whatever. People could have found out about their work. And so now they're trying to stalk you guys and whatever you may do. They're trying to put an end to you. Look at Ace of Cups flew out. Hey, the man, they're crying behind something here. Okay. Yeah, they're crying. They could be sick. They could be crying over something here, feeling stuck or something that they did to someone here. King of Swords in the reverse. This is a narcissist. They could be experiencing narcissistic energy. They themselves could be the narcissist. Okay. Whether they're a man or a woman or not, whether they're uh, a swords energy or not. Okay. But it's somebody that's cruel, mean, um, detached, someone that uses intellect and knowledge in a negative way. Okay. Someone that's abusive. All right. Collective, you guys could have put up boundaries because you realize these people were not well and these people were trying to hurt you if you know the person, okay? And so this is their vengeance. If you don't know these people, this could be pertaining to something in their lives and you could have spoke on it, like I said, especially if you're a reader and these people are directly blaming you because somebody's enlightenment could have possibly been confirmed through things that you're saying, okay? Second column, two of pentacles. So they're being blocked. Somebody found out some proof. They're juggling between thoughts and finances and they're being blocked. They're stressing out, okay? Because somebody has found out the proof of the truth about them and they're humiliated, okay? And so this is why they're trying to still figure out a way to create blockages for you all. Okay, they could have did something for money. This could have been a person that caused someone to juggle someone, all right? And they could have gotten exposed. They could be being humiliated because of what they did with this hot, what a loser, okay? Second column team, eight of wands. Yeah, somebody could have traveled away. News could be, you know, spreading really fast about what this person done online with this eight of wands. You could have moved away. And if this is not directly you, someone else could have moved away. They could feel like there's too much going on right now because news is traveling fast about what they did with this two of pentacles that they were juggling. Okay, they were doing some shitty, shady, shiesty shit with this receipts and this prize. They're humiliated. Yeah, they were a part of a betrayal. Three of swords. Mm -hmm. And they're feeling overwhelmed. They're being blocked from movement. They could be pissed about that as well. Okay, they could be wanting to get away with this eight of wands because of everything that's been exposed here with receipt. Yeah, four of pentacles. Okay, they're cheap, they're stingy, but they're having financial issues. These are power hungry people. Okay, they wanted to have power and control over someone in the situation. They held something back. People are starting to hold back from them because of this proof and they're pissed about it. So they're continuing to troll stock the people or person they feel is responsible. 
whether this is directly connected to you or it's something that to do with what you do as a reader. Okay, six of wands. Yeah, people are holding back attention from them. Last column. What's going on with these people? Last column. Ten of Pentacles is coming out. Tell me I'm beautiful. They invest in a whole lot. Okay, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Somebody got the truth about, about their looks. Maybe they were lying about their looks. Maybe, you know, ain't nothing wrong with it, but maybe they were not telling people the truth that they had gastric bypass or they had, you know, liposuction, boob job, ass job, or, you know, whatever they do would tell me I'm beautiful. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, the Fool in the Reverse. We have Aries as a major, Pisces and Virgo as majors here. Somebody knows the truth about the Wheel of Fortune, how they got shit. Okay, they could be upset about that because now they're not getting a new beginning because it was something foolish to get somebody to marry them or, or to commit to them, okay? They really thought that it was okay. Yeah, they did spells. They were manipulating them. So what's happening is they're not able to manifest. Their manifestations are um, starting to go in reverse here. They was trying to manipulate someone else's legacy. They were doing beauty, uh, magic, and spells to trick people into thinking, yeah, <clears throat> two of swords is right here. They're trying to blind people to seeing the truth about them in a situation and something to do with money and a legacy. They're trying to hide something here. Okay. And now they can't manifest. Now they're in confusion. Okay. What's happening to them? Why is the magician in the reverse? Why is the magician? So I have three out of eight that are majors so far. Why is the magician? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, failure. Their plans. Okay, their strategies. This was poor investment. They were investing in spell work to get money. They were investing in, you know, looking online, possibly stealing from people, manipulating things, strategizing, stealing into people's investments or some shit like that. <sighs> hmm. But their plans are being thwarted. What's going on with these people? See, this Seven of Pentacles is what they're still doing to the High Vibe Collective. This is why they're stalking and trolling. This is them. They're still doing spells and they're still trying to manipulate your destiny. They're online. They're still trying to figure out ways of how <clears throat> to bring some of you all down. They're still trying to figure out ways. Yeah, but unfortunately, this is in the reverse. They're not, they're not somebody's ideal love choice. This could have been a sibling, a partner, a friend, or a lover. They're, yeah. Because they was doing rituals to get somebody to invest in them. And so there's some kind of disruption here. There's something that's done for it. They created resistance in a situation. And now they're sad. Five of cups. Yeah. All right. So let me keep it pushing. Let's get a few of my cards here and see what we get. Okay. These people that's stalking, they know they're... Bad karma is here. They're getting bad karma now. This is why this pride is in the reverse, this receipt, this hot what a loser, right? This is somebody vain, tell me I'm beautiful, right? They, they really was disillusioned to think that what they're doing was all right. You know what I'm saying? With this spell work here, stealing, manipulation, plotting, steal someone else's legacy or to manipulate someone else's destiny or someone 
okay? They could have tried to cloak in a divine one's energy because they lack self-love. They, they, they do, all right? I have divine feminine ships are coming in to recreate her world in every way. Childhood friend is a hater. Karmics are sending lust spells. Something could have happened in December. They know karma is here. Toxic karmic parents are being shamed by the community. All right, first column. Can I get a few team? Second column. Bear with me, y'all. So I'm just moving through this. I'm trying to get a few and hopefully not getting all the same ones I always seem to get. Third column, ancestors. Third column. These are my personal cards here because we're gonna end it here and I may pull a few names just to see. And remember, if the names don't come out, doesn't mean that you're reading. Also keep in mind, people have the same names and it could be more than one person that we know with the, you know, the same names. So just remember to uh, take things as they resonate. Okay, Divine Feminine exposing all these MFs. Okay, so this could be, um, huh? Oh man, this could be um, an issue. All right, with why they're stalking and trolling. If you're divine feminine, you're if you're a reader, you could have served to expose all these people. If you're not a reader, uh, maybe it's just something about what you're doing in social media. You could be a, uh, a motivational speaker. You could be a teacher, some kind of uh, spiritual guru or whatever it is that you do and share. This could have served to enlighten some people and they're pissed about it. Especially with that pride coming out in the reverse and the hot, what a loser. Yeah. Mexico, something could have happened in Mexico, STD, STI. All right, con artists, criminals, and thieves, ex-church friends, stalking, praying word curses. First call, I see earth signs here. I saw Aries, divine masculine is done with karmic force. They're mad, online theft, Nikki. Second column, just saw narrow mind the whole on. Second column, I have to close my eyes now because these cards are flipped everywhere, so just bear with me. So I'm trying to keep it as blind as I can. Second column, team, please. All right, third column. Bear with me, I'm mixing the cards up a little more. I'm trying, because I know it seems like we have a pattern of the same cards that be coming out, yo. Know? And I'm like, all right. Okay. We're at 30 minutes and we're almost done. That's the benefit of when I pre-record. I don't go as long most of the time because the energy is cleaner. Okay. So for the first column with patience, Virgo energy with the hangman, I'm sorry, with the hermit and hangman, Piscean energy, Ace of Cups. From the tarot, let's see what happened. What's, what's going on with these people that's stalking and trolling y'all? Divine Feminine to the Twin Flame, I deserve love. I won't wait for you forever while you play with karmic cunts. Learn your lesson. Okay, a masculine could have eventually left the situation here. Somebody could be crying about that. So they're stalking you. 
set up, don't drink the Kool-Aid. They could have been involved with getting somebody sick here, like I said. Corrupt religious leaders are going down. Uh huh. Empty folks don't know how to love. They know how to perform for goods and services. Children and adults bodies. Nikki. Online theft. Divine masculine is done with karmic cores and they're mad. LOL. His or her addictions to destroying divine feminine and masculine is literally destroying his or her own life. Aries. Earth signs. Second column over here with pride in the reverse with the two of pentacles, eight of wands, and four of pentacles. We have going to die soon due to consequences of spell work on divine feminine and masculine. These could be people that's literally on the edge of death for doing so much spell work on divine feminines and masculines. They know they're about to die soon, yet ain't changing. Shaking my head. Water signs. Tapping into the feeling of security, safety, wealth, freedom, and success. Collective, you could be doing that or someone that you're thinking of. Okay, this could be humiliating them. I don't know why. Arkansas, somebody could be from Arkansas or in Arkansas. Major mental illness, but they wear fancy clothes. In 2023, financial loss due to greed and theft. So these people could have taken a financial loss or they're about to. They demonize divine feminine to hide their toxicity. So feminine, these are people who are calling you a demon. So they're probably a religious narc to hide the fact that they're mentally ill and jealous and have been exposed. Okay, Susan. All right, last column. We have the secrets were exposed. Look, secrets got exposed. Folks are disgusted by them. So this would explain them stalking and trolling you all. Okay. Fake friend at work. They mad because they can't shake divine feminine. She will not be moved. So feminine, you could be in this self-love energy and they can't fuck with you. Okay. Their magic is going to keep backfiring. It's poor investments to be fucking with you. Okay. Impersonating divine feminine, creating fake accounts with her information. They certainly do that with me, and they've been doing that with some of you all online right here. Somebody could be in North Carolina. Orgies and threesomes, open relationships, but they act like they're pure and clean. They attack your health to make you tired so that you won't fight for your life. They could have been doing this to you all and your children. Divine Feminine learns how powerful she is and let go. Feminine, you could have let go of some situations and went into self-love, okay? Acting like they're a supporter, but they're trying to send negative energy, so they're fake. They could be on your shit, comment and talk about, hey, you know, you're so good, you're so wonderful, you just don't know how, you know what I'm saying? But they're really sending negative energy. New, bright beginnings for Divine Feminine, so, Y'all are getting new beginnings one way or the other. Divine Feminines tried over and over again to give family and friends a chance to be real and they blew it. Okay, so for some of you, it's your, your ex friends and family. And now there's, instead of getting it together, they're still sitting up stalking and trolling some of y'all and still recording shit and wonder why their shit is gonna keep going down the journey. Mexico. They could be trying to run and escape to Mexico. Okay, they could have did something in Mexico. Divine feminine to the karmics. Y'all have missed the whole point of this lifetime. You're stuck on vengeance and you were supposed to be healing. So see, feminists, y'all know that this journey was about healing and self-love. Okay, and you have decided to try to work on that. These people were hell-bent on being in that program, toxic energy, and trying to keep those karmic cycles repeating instead of healing, and they're fucking themselves. As soon as I said that, no growth, they're get-rich-quick schemes, okay? 
possible jail time for some of these people, okay? Fake kindness is being exposed. Again, so these are people that go around trying to, you know what I'm saying, act like they're so giving. They're probably a communal narc. Act like they're so giving and supportive to people and like they're bending over backward, but it had something attached to it. It was to have power and control and access to people and to do harmful things to people and to keep people stuck and attached to them, right? Because they don't want to heal. They don't want to deal with their shit for real, okay? All right, so let's get some possible names and we're done. I can't believe that we did this in 35 minutes. When I choose to do shit all through, um, I have Marsha. When I choose to do this shit pre-recorded, Darrell Jr., these people could have been, I know in my case, fucking with my son, and I'm gonna make them hurt. I'm gonna hurt. I'm gonna make them hurt. I ain't playing. You don't touch my son energetically. You don't touch him in any way. And if you do, well then, prepare to have everything that matters to you suffer. You don't fuck with my son. You don't touch him. You don't do nothing. You do, I'm gonna destroy everything. So, it is what it is. So thank you. Collective, if you all have children, they, you know what I'm saying, are attacking your children because these are criminally insane people that carry Bibles. Jennifer, Nancy, they carry Bibles and crosses. Okay, they're weird. Their persona is Christine, I have Taryn Rosa. Their persona is Christine, but they do fucked up shit to people. They have severe personality disorders. They're addicts. All right, ancestors, could we get some names? I'm just gonna keep it general here. Pertaining to this reading, okay? Individuals involved, whether it's the divine collective or karmics, doesn't matter. Individuals involved, I wonder why that flew over there. In this situation, behind stalking, trolling, and reporting the High Vibe Collective's videos, social media, and content, they sit up every day waiting for the collective sitting up on the entire 30 minute hour live so that they can wait for a moment to report something so apparently collective these people do not have a life of their own if they did they wouldn't be on your shit would they they would be on their shit they would be in their lives creating they'll be on their perspective platforms not yours right they'd be on their own saying the shit they want to say right <laughs> all right thank you ancestors All right, so we got some names. We are done. I can't believe it. We're at about 40 minutes. I'm usually doing two, three-hour readings. <laughs> so, though to some of you, this may be long. For me, this is short. We have Listine. Listine twice. So for some of you, it's certainly Listine or somebody with an L. We have Nick. We have Stephanie. We have April. Monique. Brittany. Pedro. John. Kelly. Karen. Sheila, Sam, Janelle, Mike, Marlena, Pam, Thelma, Nancy, Josh, Roxanne, Lizzie, Abdul, Seth, Anthony, Carl, 
Stacy, Mark, Susan, John, Sierra, Vico, Emily, Diana, Jill, Gayla, Daniel, Chelsea, Priya, Maddie, Stephen, Nikki, Fred, Lamont, Robert, Martha, Devon, Eric, Sherry, Kizzy, Ramia, Larry, Cynthia, and Latoya, okay? So those are the names, you got 41, okay? Those are some of the names. And now let's grab a few of their bad karmas, okay? We already know this is what's happening. They, this is basically explaining their bad karma, okay? But let's specifically get that, okay? For fucking with you, Collective. If they're still intruding your life, they're sending energy or doing ritual work on you and your children, they're still stalking you and trolling, interfering in your life, so let's see, right? Oh, I just saw... Uh, Queen of Wands with Lovers Reverse. So their bad karma is disruption, right? People ain't gonna wanna fuck with them no more, breakups, okay? Loss of balance for trying to fuck with yours. Ancestors, what are these people bad karma? What's playing out? I just got the nine of clubs that hit the floor. So, they're gonna lose their wishes fulfillment, right? Yeah, they're gonna lose their happiness. What's gonna happen? Their bad karma, yeah. Two of swords, they're gonna be blocked, they're gonna be confused. Or their wish fulfillment, their happiness is gonna be elusive or hidden. What's gonna happen? Yeah, for trying to hide somebody else's wish fulfillments, for trying to confuse someone else's happiness, this wheel is about to not be in their favor here. They're about to lose their fortune and get some bad karma for this. Nine of Wands, they're about to lose their confidence. They're about to be stopped in their tracks. Yeah, Three of Wands in the reverse. As I speak, as I speak. Their shifts are not gonna come in. That will of, uh, will of fortune in the reverse is indicative of luck is not gonna be in their favor. They're about to get be at the bottom of the barrel. Seven of wands. Yeah, people are gonna be defensive towards them, blocking them off. They're gonna feel like they have to keep trying to defend themselves or they can't. The shit is ricocheting back to them. Yeah, here it is, justice coming out in the reverse. Three of swords, they're about to experience a heartache for these injustices. Empress in the reverse, yeah. But whatever this shit was that they were doing to you all over and over again, yeah, judgment. They're under judgment for causing people to be unfair and unjust to some of you all. They're about to lose their stability here with patience. Okay, this could be happening soon. They're not gonna get their dreams come true. They're not gonna get their healing. They're gonna be under judgment here. Some kind of judgment for whatever they have caused. Okay, celebrating about people's sickness and whatever they caused here to hurt any of you all, they're about to be under severe judgment. 
All right, you guys. Namaste.